Hey y'all, it's Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. And today we're gonna do the favorites book tag. Let's go. All right, so this was an original tag created by Reese at the Writing Songbird. Hey girl, hey. She tagged me in this. I wanna say somebody else tagged me in this and I didn't write it down. But I think several people have tagged me in this. <laughs> and I'm sorry if I missed it. But either way, we're going to do this tag now. I'm super excited. If I can find who tagged me, I'll leave all the videos down below. How about that? And Because um, like right now, I'm missing it. So, so forgive me for that. But let's go ahead and dive into this. A lot of y'all already know these answers for me. What am I playing? What kind of video is this when I've already talked about all this? But <laughs> we're going to talk about it, okay? Either way, we're here. So... You may see me running back to my shelf, ignore the setup, all this stuff. It's messy as I'll get out here. But hey, we're here today to talk about this. And I love talking about my favorite books. There's just something about books, y'all. It just, the best. Like, especially when you talk about your favorite ones and just gush. And we all have the same thing here where we all love books. I love this community. Let's get into it. Number one is, what do you say is your favorite book and why? So, I have such a trouble with picking one answer. I'm sorry, it is what it is. But, Redeeming Love is by Francine Rivers. Yes. Uh, Outlander, the series in general. And Voice in the Wind, Francine Rivers. And Stay With Me, Becky Wade. <laughs> I had this for the thumbnail. I could go get those books, but hey, y'all already know those books I'm talking about. And uh, Authentically Izzy by Pepper Basham. Hello, my heart. And uh, Extraordinary Deaths of Mrs. Kip. Wistress, Nadine Brandes. Can I go on? Them are some of my favorite books right now, okay? But the number one favorite book I have at this moment right now is When the Day Comes by Gabrielle Meyer. If anybody asks me right now what book, hey, what's your favorite book that you think I should read? It's this one. 100% When the Day Comes, Gabrielle Meyer. Christian fiction, wonderful faith, time travel. Oh my gosh. Ooh, 1700s, 1900s, which time do you pick? Girl, love story, I'm here. This is my favorite book of all time right now. And and I said it, all time, right now. This is above Outlander, like this is it, okay? Because it's clean, it's got faith, it's time travel, it's romance, it's family, all of the things. So it has to be When the Day Comes by Gabriel Meyer of all time. What's your real favorite book and why? Well, really those two questions to me is like the same. Um, so I have to say this one. I also would say, I guess, Outlander book number nine in the series is my favorite because to me, a lot of people didn't love this one, but I did because it wasn't as triggering as a lot of the other books. Now there's still some explicit scenes, but it wasn't as what I would consider triggering as many of the other books. And so this had like found family, you know, families getting back together, uh, this grandchildren, uh, this beautiful time travel story here. Uh, it, it was great in this one. So, um, I think book nine is my favorite of the entire series at this point. Um, I mean, I have pieces from each book, but like this one is so near and dear to my heart from like when I recently read it a couple of years ago. Um, when it first came out, it took me like six months, but I read it. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I would say this one right here. Number three, favorite series and why? Well, again, Outlander really is my favorite series, but there are parts of it that I'm not happy with um, now in my life and where I am in my reading and where I am in my life. I'd like to reread it from more of my, my Christian perspective here just to kind of see how I feel about it. I keep saying I'm going to reread it and I just don't. So, um, you know, I had started it and then I keep wanting to read other books. It's so hard for me to reread books anyway in general. And I have already reread the first book like three or four times. So, you know, um, yeah, at some point I will do that just so I can see how it holds up today, you know. Because I read these, you know, it's going on 10 years ago when I started reading this the series. And it's one of those that like is in my heart because I just love the series as what for what it is. There's, it's not perfect. But I, I love what Jamie and Claire went through. And, you know, it's not a book for everybody. I know that. If you don't like it, that's fine. You know, and, you know, I don't take any offense to that. Because, again, it is not for everybody. There is triggering content. There's explicit stuff. I don't love how she put sexual assault in there. It's so unnecessary. You know, I get that that happened during the time period. But, like, why? And, um, 
yeah, all the things with that, you know, it's just, it, but again, I still love like what they go through and the love that they have for each other, the family that they build and the strength that Jamie and Claire have together. It's just unbeatable for me. And, um, but again, I do want to like reread it at some point and just see how I feel today. Um, you know, am I just holding on to all of the feelings from the past? Would it still hold up today? You know, how would I feel about some of the content in there? That kind of stuff. Because today I don't read anything that really is explicit in my mind. Um, I have pretty, you know, pretty, I, I would say I'm strict with like my content because of the past reading that I've had, but I try to be more mindful about things. So we'll just see, you know, how that goes. But again, that's one of my more nostalgic past reads that I loved. Other than Outlander, though, my Christian fiction answer is definitely going to be Gabrielle Meyer's series, the time travel series. Uh, number two, number two, I've got it sitting over here. Okay, so yeah, in this moment, these two right here are definitely my favorite right now. Like this whole series, but these both were five stars. This is one, these are both actually some of my favorite books of the year. Um, top number one and two right here. And I can't. You guys have got to. You guys have got to read these. I mean, they're phenomenal. So I'll leave my reviews down below where I talked about this one. This one we're gonna talk about this month at the end of month wrap up. So mm -hmm. yeah, five star on both of them. All right. And then what? Where am I at? Let me make sure I don't miss nothing. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So number four is what's your favorite? Who is your favorite author and why? So I'm not gonna say Diana Gabaldon because I don't love everything that she does in in the series of Outlander. But, um, I love Becky Wade, Gabrielle Meyer, Jennifer Dibel, who I, I didn't even write anybody down. I'm just throwing this out. Uh, let's, let's walk over the shelf. I mean, I'm starting to love Jamie Jo Wright, okay? And who, Pepper Basham. Yes, girl, Pepper Basham. Uh, Sarah Brussfold. I've only read one of her books, her only book. It's so good. Tony Shadow, Nicole Deeds, Tammy O'Grady. <laughs> That's it. Like, I can't. Oh, it's too hard to pick. <laughs> They're so good. I, it's so hard to pick, y'all. It really is. So... Why? Because they're, because they are. I mean, they, they're my favorites, okay? Oh okay, yeah, Melanie Dickerson. I'm starting to really enjoy her because of her retellings. She's making me realize how much I love retellings. I'm so here for this. So yeah, um, that's kind of the answer right now. It's so to change. Okay. Uh, number five, favorite genre and why? Contemporary romance, because reasons. Historical romance, because reasons. That's it. <laughs> okay. I love Cozy Mystery as a third. How about that? Number six, Favorite character and why? Jamie Fraser, Claire Fraser, because they are the ultimate power couple. <laughs> okay. Uh, actually, we already have, there's a question later. Favorite book book couple. My bad. I, look at me answering stuff, but I shouldn't be. Um, <laughs> favorite character and why? I love Clara Kip. I have to say, let's talk about her for a minute because, you know, she's just so wise in her age. Like, you know, she is a character that we know she's, we know that she's dying in this, okay? We know that she's dying in the, in the Extraordinary Death of Mrs. Kid, but she gives us so much wisdom. Oh, it makes me want to reread it. One of my favorite books of last year, like, true wisdom and faith, and I, I cried. I absolutely loved it. She, she really is probably my favorite character, okay? Like, so interesting, you know? Um, out of all the books, she stands out, you know? So, yeah. What am I saying? <laughs> Number seven, favorite book to movie adaptation. Uh, ooh. Book to movie. Well, it ain't Twilight. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, y'all seen the video. Okay, you ain't seen that. Let me talk about it. Uh, book to movie. Book to movie, y'all. What, what are we saying? Um, I don't know, would it be? Editing Amanda here. I'm editing this video and how did I not know to say the hubs in the back, he been the second time I'm filming this by the way, cause there was music in the back and I had, I don't copyright. Um, <laughs> he's shaking his head at me because your girl answered the question wrong. Didn't even think about it. It didn't even hit, hit me. Am I even a real Lord of the Rings fan? Lord of the Rings. 
U.S. Best Book to Movie Adaptation, and it's Lord of the Rings. Right? You said Harry Potter. I said Harry Potter. <laughs> Bruh! I done mess up. Harry Did Potter's it? Harry Potter's a good answer too, but I wouldn't say it's my it's the best. Right, that's what I'm it's, saying. It's probably a second. I'm literally over there at my shelves, time. walking around. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I'm like, mm, when I did just, it dawn on you? Just now, when I'm edit. when I'm editing this video, just now, I thought. Really? <laughs> I didn't even realize. Hey, what you should do is just do a little caption at the bottom. I meant to say, Lord, you know when people insert it and said you're doing a lot. We're doing this editing hey, clip. Absolutely not. Line. I'm not going to let this go. I am not letting this go. <laughs> anyway, Lord of the Rings is the ultimate, ultimate. Okay. It's my favorite movie, book to movie adaptation. I also really <laughs> do like the Hobbit, Hobbit movies, but that's not really a good adaptation. I feel like it's Lord, all the same genre. I feel like Lord of the Rings is. It's still related. You know, because a lot of sound on me. Anyway, okay. back to the video. Harry Potter. I know that's a cop out answer, but it's the truth. I mean, I think they did a pretty good job considering. And uh, where is it? Where is it? I just, I just filled my middle grade book tag, so I've got books everywhere, y'all. What am I doing? Either way, Harry Potter. Okay, let's just say that. Favorite book to TV. That ain't on here, but I'm gonna say it. Outlander, okay, that, there's that. They did a really good job with season one, two, and three. After that, it's not been as my favorite anymore. I just don't love the seasons after that as much because they have kind of veered away. And, you know, the last, what's crazy is like, as far as that goes, Outlander, like book number nine, we still gonna have book 10. She's writing it right now. It takes her years to write books. I mean, she's, just think about it. She started Outlander in 1990. That's when it was published. This was book number nine a couple years ago. I mean, that's that's crazy. So it'll take her a while to finish this. But we're dealing with season eight being the final season. And it broke my heart because I'm thinking, how are y'all going to do this? Like they're doing season seven. And I'm just like, seven, book seven, eight, nine, what are you going to do? How you ending this? It better be good. It be you better not Game of Thrones me on this because absolutely not. I never watched it, but I heard about it on Game of Thrones. Um, that was too much for me. I would not. Um, but Outlander's like the, the I mean, I was like, okay, with, you know, I could skip some things there, but like Game of Thrones, absolutely not. Number nine in editing Amanda again. I also skipped number eight. It's, <laughs> it was asking your favorite quote. You'll see me realize that at the very end of this video. <laughs> Just like, this was chaos. This is what mom brain is like, okay? I'm just saying, you skip questions, you you move on, you got no idea where you're at. That's me. Anyway, back to the video. What's your favorite book cover? And I mean, right now, it has to be Wistress. I just love the colors in this so much. It's just facts. I mean, this would be the book that I would like display on my shelf for everybody to see. It's, it's the best. 10 your favorite trope uh i think marriage of convenience is one time travel can they change history that kind of stuff is that a trope enemies to lovers those are my favorite things uh number 11 what's your favorite book couple now we're going to talk about it okay jamie and claire <laughs> jamie and claire are the favorite book couple because the family they start and even though like there's parts where they have to be apart for let's say for a while i'm not gonna say but let's say they're apart for a really long time and you know, them, the, what they go through during the time of being apart and like all the, the, just the trauma and everything is so heartbreaking, but like they still ultimately love each other. And you know, that, that's that feeling of like, am I going to be able to make it back to you kind of thing? You know, it's just, and like the protection, the ultimate protection, it's a marriage to convenience story, time travel. That's why, you know, I think that's where I got my love for marriage to convenience. Like Jamie marries Claire just so he could protect her from black Jack Randall. And I love that type of story. Oh, it's the best. Okay, they're the best couple. But Christian Fiction Answer right here, because some of y'all will want this, is going to be Sam and Jen. I love them so much. I've reread this twice now, and, you know, I'm not a big reader, but rereading this, it was just a, a wonderful experience. I love the way that he helps her through her addiction and her recovery and just trying to get clean. And, you know, he, it's just, he's the best. <laughs> he's the best. Uh, Australian, hey? I'm um, just saying. And then um, the, the other one that I think of is... Um, <clears throat> January and her man. Okay. Sorry, I was shaking. January and her man in Love and a Little Outlaw. <laughs> I'm telling you, the ending of this. 
Ooh, the ending of this with him. I loved it. It was phenomenal. So, yeah, there's that. Ooh, forgot one. In Jennifer Dibble's book, Michael and Brianna in this, Michael is amazing. He's just a little sweet bean. I love him. He's just like a cinnamon roll. He just, he's so sweet and caring and he does everything to help her. And I love them. Yeah, they're one of my favorite couples as well. So yeah. Uh, and then of course, in Outlander, Brianna and Roger. I remember when I first seen Brianna on the show, I was like, uh-uh, I do not like her. But she grew on me, so yeah. Them two together as well. Is that it? I think that's it. <laughs> Sorry if I missed a question. I hope I didn't because I'm notorious for this, like I said. But I think I got everything. No, I missed a question. Oh my gosh, I did. Do you see it? I missed number eight. <laughs> What's your favorite book quote? <laughs> this video. Okay. I, I, I mean, I even got Blake's phone just so I could look this up and I forgot. Okay. So it's when the day shall come that we do part. If my last words are not, I love you, you'll kin. It was because I did not have time. I love that quote. There's something about that quote. That's a big quote in the Atlanta community. Okay. Uh, it, it's beautiful. It's and then some of my favorite quotes from Mrs. Kip, the grave is not my final home. I want to live as if I believe that. By God's grace, I will live because I believe that. I did a lot of hard things, but hard things usually end in the biggest blessings. Authentic love is the greatest joy there is, Miss Kelly, but it requires a thousand little deaths to self. Like there's just so many good quotes in this. It's beautiful. We must, we should never underestimate the life-changing gift of friendship. I mean, I'm telling you right now, Mrs. Kip has got all the quotes, okay? That, that right there, that right there. So now I'm done with the, with the tag. I cannot believe I'm, I skipped that again. Y'all, I skip stuff all the time. It's so bad. And I thought, y'all, I had to cut this out, but I was over there like, where's the quote? Grabbing up the Outlander books. I'm like, where is that quote? That's one of my favorite quotes. And then, you know, uh. I didn't mess that up, so <laughs> it's like totally wrong on what book that was in. I can't keep track of books, but yeah, so I think, I think I didn't miss anything this time. So yeah, let me know some of the answers down to these questions below. We've already chatted a lot about our favorite books here on my channel, but if you're new here, let me know your favorite book. <laughs> or if you have never let me know in your favorite book, let me know. If you've never commented before and you watch my videos, let me know. Don't be afraid. I'll talk to you in the comments. I always respond to every comment. One thing about me is like whether I heart it, respond, I don't leave no comment left in my little comment section that I, there's a little studio, YouTube studio, and you can go see your comments you've not responded to. If it, It's blank. It's always blank. Like whether it takes me a few days to get back to it, honey, I'm here. I, I make sure to respond because I know for me, like I see a lot of bigger YouTubers, booktubers, and stuff that like they don't respond to all their comments and I know not everybody can I, it's probably really hard but like I still try to as of today so I know it's important like if you take the time to comment to me I want to try to respond to you in some way whether it's an emoji a heart just acknowledge I did see it so uh yeah let me, let me know comment down below anything you want so I love you guys so much thanks for watching this chaotic video as usual and I'll see you on my next video bye y'all